Hello everyone, before we start today's game, I thought I would let you know that I have made a new Skype account which I made specifically for battling people, so if you want to battle me or at least have a chance to have a game against me, uh, go ahead and add the Skype account, it is the same as my channel name, so that's Emperor ZNB. I'll also put it in the description in case you want to just uh, get it from there, but uh, that's where I'll be taking battles from, uh, I guess, now on, I'll, I'll be hopping on to that account and when my status says I'm excited accepting battles you can go ahead and message me and I'll uh, I'll choose some people to play but uh, enough of that we've got a game here against Pokemon 11 from the other night from Wild Chaser's stream actually I believe and we're doing some Ubers not the most serious of stuff I'm of course using the kind of Drift Blim and Poison Arceus team and she has an Arcanine so we're not going super crazy Uber craziness here but there are good pokes on the field so it should be still uh, rather interesting now I lead off with my Genesect which is max speed with a scarf in any situation it's going to be faster than Kyogre, so I'm going to U-turn straight off the bat, get as much damage on that thing as possible, and uh, hopefully find out what type of Kyogre it is. Seems that she is scared out, I guess, by the potential of a Thunder, and so goes into Ferrothorn predicting that I end up U-turning, do a huge amount with the U-turn, meaning this is most certainly a special defensive Ferrothorn, but regardless, I go into Dialga, forgetting that Rain is up, thinking going for Flamethrower right now would be a smart idea, because then it would just die in one hit. Unfortunately, Rain, of course, is up and this Ferrothorn is in fact specially defensive meaning it lives with 72 HP gets up Stealth Rock which I can't spin away because I don't have a spinner I don't have a spinner on this mishmash of guys what are you going to do sometimes Stealth Rocks just stay on the field and that's going to be one of those times fortunately for me she doesn't have a spinner either so if I get my rocks up that's probably going to benefit me however knowing that the switch is coming because you don't want to stay in and take a flamethrower and die again I decided to lock not lock myself into thunder if I switch moves that doesn't mean I'm locked into anything I decided to go for the the thunder knowing that either she's going to go to arcane to get the uh, arcane to get a flash fire boost or into lugia just to take a flamethrower which is weakened by the rain so thunder gets hit with the lugia the lugia gets hit with the thunder i should say uh gets rid of the multi-scale um and does a lot of damage and then i get stealth rocks up as she well wins me into my drift blim which i'm feeling against lugia probably not the best way to set up with minimize but i'm thinking you know i fuck it i'm gonna try anyway i'm gonna try and get as many minimum minimizes under my belt as is possible I, I was gonna say humanly possible but of course drift blim is no man no human indeed is in, is in fact a woman it, yes it is it's a female drift blim but it doesn't make it human in any way either it's just a, a floating cloud with a little balloon on its underside uh, yes uh, yes okay I don't know what I'm saying because the cloud is clearly its hair and not the balloon part of it regardless it has like little floppy arms and it looks kind of cool and I don't know why I even called this thing Tiny Dancer but it's a cool name um, I'm not really explaining anything here because all I'm doing is minimizing and ends up that she's just ice beaming, toxic and ice beaming and all that stuff I'm thinking okay get up to plus six probably won't be able to hit me with any move at this point and then whirlwind hits and I lose all of my boosts and get moved out into my poison Arceus now I know there's going to be people in the comments, you, yes, you in the comments, you right there, you'll be like, well, NBZ, uh, Whirlwind is never going to miss, uh, unfortunately, no. No, ladies and gentlemen, Whirlwind is a move like any other and has accuracy like any other. It, it, it's going to miss, it has the potential to miss, and I have seen Whirlwind miss before as a result of evasion. So if you're going to try and tell me that Whirlwind hits every time, then I'm afraid that you're in misinformed information, my young sir, madam, whoever you so happen to be, because Whirlwind does have the ability to miss if evasion is involved and unfortunately for me it ends up hitting through plus six so f my life um in comes poison arceus goes into the ferrothorn to die to an ice beam brings in electric arceus which smashes me in the face with the thunder however now that i have will o wisped it and now that i've taken the thunder i believe well she's probably going to go for the ice beam because i have a ground on and it would probably be a good idea for me to go into ground on to take the thunder however knowing that would happen. I stay in to take 
the oncoming ice beam, which I live pretty aptly, go for the recover and back at a good amount of HP. Now, Star's going for the car mind. I haven't, in fact, revealed I have Raw yet, so it's understandable that she would try and set up, knowing that Thunder did quite a lot of damage, and if she can get a few boosts in, then it's all going to work to her benefit, especially when I'm recovering and not attacking her directly. At this point, decides to go for the recover, which kind of is a little bit of a nuisance, but the good thing is that I did go for the Raw, meaning that I'm going to phase the RCS out making it I guess something to deal with later on not that I'm too afraid of it in uh, in a huge way so bring in the Genesect and I honestly don't know why I ended up recovering here because I was like well Genesect's gonna do something to me and like do lots of damage I don't know what it's gonna do so I decide I'm gonna go for the recover and ends up just u-turning which takes like 33 HP away from me so I'm like okay that's fine I well I'm I guess that I use my one recover there to get up a little bit of HP. Not that it really helps usually, uh, because I could take on this RCS Electrix hits pretty nicely regardless, but it's going to try Thunder me again anyway. I guess she wants to get me paralyzed. Um, makes sense because uh, something paralyzed is always the chance for power hacks and it always gets annoying eventually but I'm just gonna stay and go for the ice beam see how much damage I can do and try and wear it down at the point at which she's gonna eventually gonna want to go for the recover and then I can switch out and deal with it appropriately once uh, that happens I guess but for the time being as long as she's staying in and doing all this stuff I'm gonna continue ice beaming um, ends up that we get down to the point where we're like nah we're not gonna recover anymore I'll just die and then you can just die as well so, this, the story of Arceus and Arceus. Never has there been a story of such woe as Arceus and Arceus. <laughs> Not quite having the rhyming uh, ability of Romeo and Juliet, but nonetheless, uh, still valid, I guess. I don't know, I'm going to go into my Driftlim now, because I don't know what she wants to switch in. Ends up going to Arcanine, which, that's fine. It's the, you, you would think that this was no Ubers match when you have Driftlim versus Arcanine, but there you go, this is what happens. And then, this is funny, because... I get Aftermath, then she gets hit with Recoil from Wild Charge, then she gets hit with Recoil from Life Orb, and this Arcanine, having come in at full health, has taken Stealth Rock, has taken Aftermath, has taken Wild Charge Recoil, and has taken Life Orb damage. All in one turn, it's down to 93 HP. That's pretty phenomenal, I might say. Uh, that was pretty awesome. So... That happens, I decide to go into Genesect and U-turn, thinking it's maybe going to take it out, but if not, I don't care, because I can predict the fire move and go straight into Kyogre to take it, and that's basically what happens, because now the recoil damage from Flare Blitz combined with Life Orb is actually going to knock the Arcanine out, and I don't really have to worry about it anymore, not that I was really worried about it in the first place, because it is an Arcanine in Ubers, and it, uh, yeah, it's not really going to do that well. It'll do alright, but uh, not phenomenally. So, bring uh, the win button back out again, fearing the thunder, or thunderbolt, or whatever this Genesect wants to do to me, and go straight into my TARDIS to take the resisted hit with such ease and such ability, but uh, ends up going for the U-turn again. Um, I guess that she just wants to get this uh, scouting initiative, see what I'm going to end up doing, and which working out uh, decently, I guess, because now she can go into her own Kyogre, um, and try and smash me around with some moves. Ends up being the case that it's in fact a leftovers variety though, uh, meaning that it doesn't really pack the power of specs and uh, it's just not going to be able to touch Dialga very well, especially when I'm running a sp support based set, although it's like, it's Stealth Rock but it has three attacks as opposed to like Stealth Rock plus T-Wave and then two attacks so there you go, I actually have the Thunder at my disposal so not too afraid of using it. Uh, Ice Beam is no way near going to be taking me out. And Thunder's just going to come crashing down from the sky. Take down the Kyogre. And Kyogre, the watery beast from below, shall return to its depths once more. Uh, now in comes Lugia, which is going to take Stealth Rock damage upon switching. I think it's faster than me. Which means it's probably going to end up going for Ice Beam and killing me off. Uh, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Unfortunately for it, though, it is not powerful enough to kill me. So I... I end up living with 25 HP and going for Thunder and then not killing it either, but well, I brought it down to a decent enough HP where it doesn't really matter. At this point, I decided to Dragon Pulse, predicting the potential Roost that she could have gone for, because if I'd gone for Thunder on the Roost, then it wouldn't have done much. You know how it works, that's how Roost works. But um, it's fine, not a real big deal, because it ends up going for the Ice Beam anyway, meaning that I can come in with Genesect and Revenge Kill with my own Ice Beam, and I think I get the special attack. Yeah, I do get the special attack boost here, so it's pretty much guaranteed to take this thing out, uh, regardless of its investment. And the final thing on her side, I believe, is a 
Genesect, meaning that I can easily switch out, um, go into whatever Pokemon I have left. I have Groudon and Kyogre, so no matter what locks herself into, it's not going to work out because if she goes for the electric move to deal with Kyogre, I have Groudon. If she goes for the ice move to deal with Groudon, I have Kyogre. It's a win-win situation. I guess ice is the better play because it hits both of them and there's the chance to freeze. There's also the chance to crit, which happens right there, but fortunately for me, I'm able to get off the ice beam and get off the ice beam, get off the uh, surf, finish off the Genesect, and that is going to wind down the game to a close where it shall indeed end. And we, uh, we're done. We're pretty much we're game over. GG. So there is the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of a, I don't know, bit more relaxed, casual game, as it were, in the good old Uber's tower. Uh, and we are pretty much sorted. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a big old thumbs up. The like button is highly appreciated to be pushed if those are your sentiments towards the video. But only if they are your sentiments. Do not let emotion cloud your judgment. Just just go and do what feels right. Uh, so there you go. Uh, yeah, if you want to add me on Skype, of course, I'll reiterate. The Skype is below, where I will take battles, and I will just be adding people. So that is it. I'll see you guys next time on another video. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.